Inside this cleaning caddy are my top 10 interior detailing tools for the beginner, but we're not actually gonna stop there. In fact, we're gonna give you five extra bonus tools at the end of the video. Right, so let's not waste another second. Let's jump in with the first tool. Now, this is a scrub pad. I use these on the fabrics, on the plastics, on mats, literally anything I possibly can. They're great on cleaning leather seats, but there is another tool that I will be featuring later on, which is also a good alternative, because what you will find with these scrub pads is, they feel like a microfiber cloth, but it does feel quite stiff, but not stiff enough to cause a lot of damage on any of the plastics or any of the trim or anything like that. So they are very safe, but you do just have to be very careful on any glossy surfaces like the piano black trim that you're gonna find on things like a Range Rover, for example. So normally I spray a little bit of chemical onto the scrub pad, a tiny bit onto the surface I'm gonna clean and work it in, and it literally works its magic. It foams up in seconds, and then you can wipe away with the tool number two. Now, tool number two is a microfiber cloth. I get these all from a company called Microfiber. I've preached about them so many times, and I will put links in the description below. These microfiber cloths are absolutely epic. They're really good quality. They're nice and thick, but they're not too thick. You've got long pile on one side, short on the other, which means that they're versatile. And these have been washed so many times and they're still going strong. So you do get longer usability out of them, unlike some of the cheaper ones that you can get on Amazon. So the next tool I cannot live without is my soft detailing brushes. These are absolutely brilliant. They are safe on pretty much every single surface. Now, I don't just use these on the interior. I get away with using them on the exterior as well. So I've got loads of designated brushes that do certain jobs. Now with these, you wanna be very careful because they're not really suitable for things like pedals. The reason being is not actually because the bristles are so soft, it's actually because of all the germs and bacteria that you're going to be spreading. The last thing you wanna be doing is using one of these on the pedals. And let's not forget, like, Prime example, the other day, I used a public toilet and it was absolutely disgusting. Now, a lot of that bacteria and God knows what would have been on my trainers and where do I go straight after I've been to the loo, into my car, those dirty trainers go onto the pedals and then the next thing you know, all that contamination has spread. So if you start using one of these soft brushes on the pedals and then go to use it on a steering wheel, all you're gonna be doing is probably potentially making yourself very sick with all sorts of viruses. So it's something to be very careful of, but anyway, Back to the point on these brushes, because they're so soft, they're great for finishing off an interior, so getting around all the nooks and crannies. So while we're talking about brushes, let's carry on with this one right here from Valet Pro. Now, I featured this in my previous video when I was actually using a similar one on the engine bay. Now, I like these because they've got a short bristles and they're so compact together that they feel nice and tight. So look, as I'm pushing down, they don't spread out. Whereas when I've got a soft brush like this, you know, a little bit of pressure, and it's like the, the bristles of the brush have all gone out. So I think there's a big difference and I quite like these because they are compact. I can really get down into those nitty gritty areas. They're quite good on using on the seat runners as well. So there's many occasions when the soft brushes just aren't good enough. So then I have to opt for some of these. Now I do occasionally use these on leather seats down those crevices. I don't really use them on the main bits, but down those little gaps is where I like to use this brush. So it does come in quite handy. Tool number five is the pet hair block. And the reason why I love this is because because there's probably about 300 rubber teeth on it, which when you wipe over on a mat or a carpet that has got dog hair on, it's very easy to flick it out. Now granted, there's gonna be the odd carpet where it sometimes may not work because every single carpet's different, but nine times out of 10, this is an absolute godsend. It also speeds up the cleaning process and it also doubles up as a great tool for getting carpet stripes on your mats. So for tool six and seven, we're gonna bundle this one together because we have two different brushes. We're gonna start off with this one that looks a bit like a bog brush. This has got some stiff bristles. And the reason why I like to use this one on the mats, on the pedals, and sometimes on the carpet is because when it's going at such a fast rate, it's spinning and flicking the dirt out away. Whereas whenever you use one of these round headed ones like this, whenever you're pushing down on the mats, it tends to just mangle up the carpets. Now I know not every carpet's gonna be the same. There's many different textures and materials, but when you're using certain types of fabrics, where if you're pushing down, it's a bit like if you were to be using a rotary polisher and you kept it in one spot. All you're gonna do is damage those fibers. So what I like to do is use one of these because I can go over it a lot quicker. In fact, what I have here is a demonstration of what happens to these round brushes. So we've got this one right here. Now I've crafted this at quite a good angle. So what I normally like to do is, if I am using one of these and I don't have this one on me at the time, 
I normally angle the brush like this because what I'm doing is it's spinning at such a fast rate, it's picking the dirt, flicking it out and getting it out to God knows where. So that's why I really like using these ones, but I just would never use a drill brush and work down like that. This is purely my own personal preference. This is what I truly believe happens because when I've tested different stiffness brushes on certain fibers, I've seen things happen in the past and I thought, crikey, if I went any further, I probably could have damaged the fabric. So if you're somebody who doesn't have a drill brush, then tool number Number eight is going to be right up your street because this is just a hand brush. Now you can literally get these anywhere online. So many retailers are selling them. They're all generic. They're all from the same place, probably the same warehouse on the other side of the world. But what makes these so good is they can fit on your hand and you really can get into the mats because you've got a good grip on this, you've got good comfort. So if you can't afford a drill brush or a drill, for example, this is gonna be a good alternative. I still use this to this day. There's always the odd time when I think I really can't be bothered to go plug in a drill just because I might be having one of those lazy days. So if I've got this to hand, it's really good on the carpets. And again, you can get carpet stripes out of it as well. So it does double up as another tool if you really don't wanna use these. Will this get rid of pet hairs? No, it really won't. But will it be able to scrub some harsher plastics? Yeah, it really does. And again, for rubber mats. This really is my dirty carpet brush and I really shouldn't be holding this without gloves on. Okay, I think I better put that one down because I'm having a Subway for lunch. <laughs> anyway, tools nine and 10 we're gonna put together because why not? They're two vacuum cleaner tools. Now you normally get these with every George pneumatic or Charles vacuum cleaner. They always chuck them in with those hoovers. So every time I've got them, I've been quite glad actually because these are tools that I use on a regular basis. We're gonna start off with this one. Now these bristles are quite stiff. So if you don't have any of these other tools, this is gonna be good enough on your carpets. I'm not gonna say that you should start spraying the carpets and then scrubbing this in with a chemical, but I'm just saying it does make a quick and easy solution. And now we have this one, which actually has a couple of uses. So if you do not have one of these brushes and you do have one of these tools, then there is a good solution because these are so stiff I'm telling you now, this is one of the best brushes you can get for cleaning those horrible Kia VW Peugeot mats. I've had so many scenarios in the past where I've had dirt, dust, grit, when these have just not been at my disposal. And I thought, well, I've got no other option. And I've been using this. And every time you're pushing it into the carpets like this, you don't even have to press so hard. And because the bristles are quite wavy, they actually are identical to what you're gonna find on a tire brush. So if you don't have a tire brush, which is stiff enough to clean those tires, as long as you're very careful, this bad boy right here is gonna save you an extra few quid. So this is my top 10 products, but we've got five more quick bonus ones that I'm just gonna whiz through right now. So we're gonna start off with this, which is a leather mitt. So I normally use this only on leather seats and on the steering wheel because it's a little bit softer than your average scrub pad. So these are a little bit more harsher. So this is a good balance. It's very similar to a microfiber cloth, but there is quite long fibers. I got this one from Infinity Wax. I will put links in the description below. Now this funky little tool right here is what you would use for cleaning cutlery. Now I paid about a pound off Timu, I think it was for this one. And it doesn't look much, but trust me, if you wanna clean your seat belts and you wanna do it quickly, just by sticking a seatbelt through this gap, I mean, these teeth are so stiff, the way that they touch each other like this. I mean, it takes a bit of pull if you wanna get it out. So they are very aggressive at cleaning your seat belts. They do an amazing job. Do recommend that for a couple of quid, I think, barely that, it's unbelievable. This is another type of rubber pet hair removal tool. I've been using these for many years. Again, I really do like my pet hair block, but this makes a great alternative. It's got a metal handle inside, so you really can agitate it. You can be quite aggressive, whereas sometimes this just might not be enough because when you're pulling like this, this can peel back and it does get slightly annoying. Although this is my favorite, this is a good alternative as well. So we're now gonna move on to these little things here, which look like cotton buds, but we normally use these on the fancy cars. So they're things like the Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, or any little gear knob where we've got these tiny little numbers and you've got the little reverse letter on it as well. So you can be very delicate, but it's very rare that I actually use these, but you do get that occasional time where they do come in handy. Now we have one more brush here to get through. This was an AliExpress brush. I think it was about 70p I paid. You can literally get these anywhere. You can buy them from UK retailers. They do cost a few quid more because they have to import them. So it depends how patient you are. If you want one of these soon, get them in the UK. And I think they're gonna cost around three pounds in the UK. However, if you're happy to wait, 
four, five, or even six weeks, you can get them for pennies. Really good tool just for finishing off, very similar to this soft brush. So where I use this one to dust the cars at the end, I normally use this for the delicate job. So it's a very good brush. And even though it comes from AliExpress, yeah, it's excelled in every way possible. So look, these are just some of the basics that you're gonna need if you wanted to spruce up your car. However, if you wanted to go into things like air compressors or carpet shampooers, luckily for you, I've already done those videos. And we have two amazing videos that you can go and watch right here.